So we are very interested in how cancers initiate, progress and evolve over time. And this work that I'm presenting today is around how we think lung cancer may be initiated in response to air pollution that you inhale every day during one's daily life. And the, the, the central study is this um, area of uh, non-small cell lung cancer in never smokers. So why do never smokers get lung cancer? So we've been studying mouse models and human epidemiology data sets. Actually, we've known for 30 years or more that there is a strong relationship between air pollution exposure and risk of lung cancer. Um, but we didn't know whether that was an association or whether that was an underlying functional or causative basis for that association. So um, we've been studying air pollution exposure in mouse models of lung cancer. And what we um, have found is if you initiate a lung cancer by a KRAS or an EGFR mutation and give air pollution at the same time, you can increase the number of tumours that form in a mouse. And so we think this is working through an inflammatory axis. It's not directly, uh, we don't think, causing mutations. It's not directly mutagenic. That is, air pollution is not directly mutagenic. Or if it is, it's very, very subtle. Um, what we think is happening is that the air pollutants are being taken up by the macrophages. And the macrophages, these white cells, myeloid cells, um, um, can't digest these air pollutants and release inflammatory mediators um, that cause um, pre-existing stem cells in the lung to transform into a tumor, but only if they have an activating mutation in them. So the question is, where do, the, where do those mutations come from? Well, what we see is these mutations increase increase in normal lung tissue as you age. So this is probably part of a natural aging process. And of course, tobacco carcinogens and what have you can uh, influence that and can increase the number of mutations in the lung. And we see that. But actually just in a never smoker, just in never smokers, um, over time we see uh, with age an increasing number of oncogenic mutations, cancer mutations, but in normal lung tissue that is histologically normal and has no evidence of cancer. So what what we think is happening is a sort of a two-hit model. You've got um, cancer initiation um, driven by inflammation and the background um, oncogenic mutation that allows that first stem cell to, to proliferate. So then um, the rest of my talk, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the, the white cells, these myeloid cells in general, to understand what their role is in cancer initiation. And we, we're getting hints from other areas um, of, in Tracer X that, that these white cells, neutrophils, monocytes, macrophages, are important either in tumor initiation or in tumor progression. So I'll be talking about that this afternoon and um, the role of something called CHIP, which stands for clonal hematopoiesis of indeterminate potential. Um, and we've got very exciting data um, that alludes to the role of CHIP, we think, in, in cancer evolution and progression. So I think the sort of central focus of the talk today will be around the role of my, the myeloid compartment in promoting tumor initiation or tumor progression. Um, and the title is Myeloid Mayhem.